and I'm just just going hard. So they got these different freestyles. I met Pac. I hooked Pac up with two hoes that night. Ooh. Money B, we had some little freaks with us from Third Ward. And Money B was like, who are them chicks? So I'm like, they just some homegirls. So the next morning, he gave me $200. I said, what this for? He said, they came and spent the night with me and Pac. You feel what I'm saying? So I met all the people, kicked it with Pac. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, you know, I started noticing, you know, once my son got older, uh, when I dropped Southside Still Holdings, because we, al we always been making noise and selling records, but when I dropped Southside Still Holdings, Southside I'm not scared still to holding. adapt. Uh, uh, you know, with new producers. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know. You know, I you know I, I I rock with a lot of shit that other people just be like, they don't even give some of the young dudes a chance. You feel me? Yeah. But I I listen and give them a chance. You know, so it's like basketball with me. So you know, like if I'm an all star or I'm a veteran, when the new player come in the league, you still got to play that player. So I stay on my grind, stay hustling, stay doing what I got to do. So bam, Southside still holding come out. So we almost like thirty million streams. Man, I seen it. Man, so after God. that, you feel me? It was like. You know, they wanted that. You feel me? So, you know, it but is it was what a re it is. Reju it, that was a rejuvenating point for me, man. Like, for the whole Houston, that whole era when you did that. But, you know, I I looked at, I, I remember I was in Vegas and I, me and Eric Sherman was together. Mm -hmm. And I, I mentioned uh, I was from Texas because we were playing roulette together. And that nigga, he did, he had remade you all song. Mm -hmm. You don't remember that, do you? It, 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 still, it was the uh, uh, one you and Slim had. Well, it's the Mr. Slim, the Boss Hall. Oh, oh no shit! He redone that song. No, and well. me and him, when we was on the top, on the on the like the uh, uh, roulette table, just mm -hmm. I always be on the roulette table. Mm -hmm. They throw that ball up. I don't know how to play that. One. Listen, man, me and him was there, and he said, "Man, you from Texas?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Man, I love E, man." He went crazy on me, man, about no you. No shit. I promised, dog. You know crazy. he a legend, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that, that's big, right? Yeah, that's like, big. That's and big. I got the picture too, man. We that's took pictures and everything. I was like, yeah, nigga, I'm from Texas. You know, I, I don't play about that. Uh -huh. So he was That's like, crazy. yeah, he loved you. But he redone that. He had did a freestyle to it, man, and killed okay. it, too. I, and really you, I, see, I didn't think, I would have thought you would remember man, that. I didn't know that. He like, did that, bro. Uh, like, 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 I mean, like, Tritch, Tribe, Call Quest. I'm talking about so many different, like, East Coast rappers. Like, we was at a convention one time, and I'm just, just going hard. So they got these different freestyles. I met Pac. I hooked Pac up with two hoes that night. Ooh. Money B, we had some little freaks with us from Third Ward. And Money B was like, who are them chicks? So I'm like, they just some homegirls. So the next morning, he gave me $200. I said, what this for? He said, they came and spent the night with me and Pac. You feel what I'm saying? So I met all these people, kicked it with Pac. Uh, 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 Snoop, I'm talking about, you know, everybody. Yeah. Everybody. So all the East Coast rappers and shit was coming up to me like, say, man, we ain't never heard nobody do this shit like you do. You feel me? So, because what they would do when they get in the cipher, you know, people get in there with they, they bars and they metaphors, and I just look at the dude and be like, nigga, what you talking about? You need to go fix that rotten tooth for your mouth. Yeah. yeah that, and you feel me? So they weren't used to that kind of shit. So, you know, Too Short was so crazy. I got the song with Too Short, but I just told Too Short the story. Uh, our hotel room was next to Too Short room. Okay. So we going back to our room. We see a room key in the door. Okay. So I say, man, somebody left their key in the door. We some little young niggas. We 19, you know, 18, 20. So we like, fuck it, go get the key. My partner still grabbed the key out yeah, the door. Yeah, get the key. We go to the room. Later on, he throw the key out the window, like, you know, out the back. Like, man, fuck that key. I ain't worried about the key. So by 2 o'clock that night, I see two short going in there. So <laughs> I tell my home, I say, bro, that's two short room. He say, what? Man, my dog, my dog tired of sheep to the bottom of the bed, like four sheets in. Shimmy Cry, down there, Shimmy home. down, I got the hotel key, waited till the next day, he broke in the short room. It was an Aunt Banks uh, T-shirt, some guest jeans and a keyboard. I said, nigga, you better not steal, steal short <laughs> shit. So when I first did the song with short, I couldn't even tell him that. <laughs> Yeah, you but know that's, it be like that, man. Yeah, man I, I got a story, told, but that's told crazy. Him. You the told him. Yeah, I would have told him, man. Not the first time. Not the first time. I'm just getting in the door with yeah, you, man. man. We you just know, breaking ice, right? You know what I'm saying? Know in the beginning, because he found out late, it's like you tried to hold me or something. Nah, nah. I'm just being real. You yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.